Hello soulmates. It is an absolute pleasure to have you once again on my channel. If this is your first time checking out my channel, please consider subscribing because on this channel, I'll teach you how to do simple DIY fashion right there in the comfort of your home. Today, I'm going to show you a technique for Canadian smocking. And this technique is the arrows method. Now, this, with this smocking technique, it can be used for pillows, it can be used on children's dresses, it can be used on sleeves, just about any project that you're working with that you want this beautiful technique to be done. So this is the plan. You're going, for this project, you're not going to need your sewing machine, you're going to need your hand needles, you're going to need a piece of chalk, you're going to need your scissors and you're going to need mat matching thread for this project. So let's look at this um, plan, how we could achieve this style. So as I said, this is the arrows technique. You have many different other techniques for smocking and in the future, I think I will show you how to achieve the others. So to get this, what, I did, what you need to do is you need one inch boxes. So these are squares and they are one inch in length. So all the sides are going to be equal. And what you're going to do, it depends on what you really want. So it depends on the project that you're working with also. So you determine the size that you need. So here I have... The, the plan for it. So what you're going to do when you achieve your boxes, so in this case, this is the pattern that I'm going to use that is on my fabric. And I already drew my squares, but I wanted you to see it on this paper before you transfer it to your fabric. What you're going to do, you're going to make some arrows on your fabric. So for instance, this is my column, my first column. So my, in my first column, I'm going to have arrows in my first box. Then I'm going to skip it. And in the alternate box, I'm going to have another arrow. Then I skip the other boxes. Then I will have my arrow, skip the next box, arrow, skip the next box, arrow. And it goes on. Similarly, for the second column, which is this one, you're going to skip the first box, then you put your arrow, skip the other box, then you put your arrow. So it's an alternate um, pattern. So this is what you're going to need in order to get this style. So now when you have this on your fabric, I would suggest you use chalk because you need something that easily wash away. You're going to take your needle and you're going to thread it I did it, I doubled mine because this is going to stay. So you want it to be as durable and strong, and strong as possible. So you're going to take it after you get your boxes, you're going to take, take it. And the first thing you're going to do is that you're going to go in. So this is my first arrow now. This is my first arrow. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my needle. I'm working in the first box, my first column, and I'm going to put it underneath at the edge of my first box. I'm gonna pull it up. I'm going to leave also a piece of the tail, or maybe about one inch or so tail, or maybe one and a half inch. And then now I'm going to go into the corner of the other box like this and I'm gonna pull it up and trying to pick up the same amount each time you're going to pull it but not too tight as yet and then you're going to go in you're going to go in at the bottom of the other of the same box so it, this is what I mean okay so you're going to have something that looks like this so what I did I went I went from this corner to the left corner and then I went to the base of the box which is where the arrows meet 
okay where the the two lines meet okay and then what you're going to do you're going to pull up your thread okay let me put this underneath you're going to pull up your thread grab the the tail grab the tail and you're going to pull up your thread pull it so that they are together okay when they're together you're going to tie it as tightly as possible tie it because it's gonna stay you're gonna reinforce that stitch again reinforce that stitch and I'm gonna do it one more time just because I don't want it to be and then you're going to snip it off okay so now you're going to go to the next box where the arrows are you're going to do the same thing you're going to go from the right hand pull it up then go to the left and then you go to the base okay and you're going to pull them together like this very easy to do very easy to do then you're going to tie it reinforce your stitch reinforce those ties so that they don't pull away and then you clip it off and you're going to do the other one so let me show you again you're going to go to your next arrow start on the right then you're going to leave your tail go to the left of the other box then you're going to go to the base Pull your thread grab the other end like this pull it all the way together and reinforce those cut it off and then you just continue it's quite time consuming but it's very rewarding column and I'm gonna move to the other column so I just want to show you what it looks like on the other side this is what it's gonna look like on the other side of the pattern so I'm gonna do the other column now so you're gonna go to the next one which is column 2 and you're gonna do the same thing okay pick one side move to the next then go to the base pull your thread up okay
result of the arrow smocking method that we just did this is how it is i think i did about um three rows and this is how it looks like you see how beautiful it is you can continue to do this and then when you're done you put it on whatever project you're working with whether it's a pillow or it's a sleeve or any part of the bodies so if you find this video helpful do not forget to give me a giant thumbs up do not forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified each time i make a video until we meet again i will see you in my next one bye <laughs>